Hey everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing overview as well as a quick demonstration of this Club 3D SenseVision MST hub that's multi-stream transport. Taking a look at the retail box and giving you guys a better explanation of what this device actually does if you're not familiar with what MST or multi-stream transport is. Basically it will allow you to take a display port output from a laptop or a desktop and expand it uh, out to three displays, uh, three or less. It, it's going to vary a lot depending on the resolution of the, of the display that you're outputting to, but there's lots of configuration options. This particular device is best to use with AMD Radeon graphics, although if you read some of the comments on this product page, you'll find that uh, NVIDIA support is also there, it just varies and you might not always get, for instance, pass-through of sound as well as the video. But um, if you're looking to expand your display options, if you want to set up a multi-monitor uh, configuration for a uh, laptop or a desktop, just make sure you have compatible hardware. Uh, one of the biggest things is going to be DisplayPort 1.2 uh, output capability. So make sure that uh, whatever video device you're using, and this is much more common with desktop graphics cards, uh, actually has DisplayPort 1.2 support so it can uh, do that MST, multi-stream transport output. Uh, but basically a, a nice de demonstration here from SenseVision. Uh, display devices have always been a real integral part of the PC experience, whether it's in the form of a desktop, a notebooks, embedded panel, or the touchscreen of a PC. Uh, it's a vital role. So leveraging the micro packet architecture of DisplayPort, DisplayPort 1.2 adds the capability to address and drive several display devices through one DisplayPort connector. This feature has often been referred to as daisy chaining or addressable displays. Now the reason you might uh, be using this device is because you don't necessarily have monitors with that DisplayPort 1.2 capability so you can daisy chain straight off the monitor. This will let you connect multiple monitors using just this device. So that being said, let's move over here to product features. There's a lot of compatibility uh, compliance uh, listings list that are listed there. Um, but if you want to run down those and make sure that you have the compatibility, then you can go ahead and do so. Another thing you might be wondering is can I use this uh, MST hub with non-DisplayPort monitors, for example? And the answer would be yes, in certain situations. Uh, you can use adapters from uh, DisplayPort to other, uh, other connection uh, standards such as HDMI, VGA, or DisplayPort, or I'm sorry, or DVI. Uh, however, there is some adapter compatibility issues that can, can come into play. So I recommend it definitely making sure you're using active adapters if those are available, or if you want to be absolutely sure, you can follow this list of Club 3D supported accessories. And then a quick diagram here on the lower left because a lot of folks who have AMD specific AMD Radeon graphics cards uh, are aware that they can support Ifinity configurations. So that's like up to six displays. However, if your graphics card does not have all of those display outputs, this is the device that you'll want to use in order to enable that type of configuration. So we can see here we have a uh, Radeon graphics card or Club 3D graphics card, but either way, AMD Affinity support capable graphics card with DisplayPort 1.2 outputs, and uh, using two of those outputs, they're connecting a hub to either one, and using the hub to connect three monitors to either uh, to, to, to either DisplayPort output. So that's a really high-end configuration, but an example of how you can take advantage of that Affinity connectivity from your graphics card and actually connect tons of monitors. Inside the retail box, we have some packaging. Nice. Nice uh, foam right there. Uh, also, we have the SenseVision hub itself, of course, and we'll come back to that in just a moment. Apart from that, uh, pretty basic, we have an AC adapter with a power brick, as well as the Transport Hub user's guide. I did want to point out a couple things specifically from the manual here. First off, maximum supported video resolutions. You can do up to 2560 by 1600 at a 60 hertz refresh rate. Uh, also bear in mind there's a couple different DisplayPort specs that are out there. So you have HBR uh, that's available with DisplayPort 1.1 and you do have some compatibility there. Then you have HBR2 uh, that uh, was introduced with DisplayPort 1.2. So you're going to have more bandwidth and more uh, supported resolutions and monitor configurations if you're talking uh, or if you're using DisplayPort 1.2. Although you do have some compatibi compatibility with DisplayPort 1.1 as well. Also operating system uh, support is listed there. Uh, two. And then uh, this page in particular is very helpful as far as knowing what you can connect uh, depending on your different connections. So it has raw bandwidth as well as video data rate listed there. But uh, the main thing I'm interested in is maximum resolution support at 24 uh, bits per pixel at 60 hertz. So with DisplayPort 1.2, you can actually do up to 4K. Uh, 1.1, you can do 2560 by 2048. Uh, and then also listed 
down here is how many monitors you can actually connect. So um, if you're using HBR2, which is uh, listed on the right there, you can do up to s uh, six monitors at 1600 by 900. You can do up to four monitors at 1920 by 1080. And you can do up to two monitors at 2560 by 1440. Or as I will be demonstrating in just a moment, you can do two monitors also at 2560 by 1600. The SenseVision MST hub itself is right here. And as you can see, it's a, it's a fairly simple device when it comes to the physical nature of it, but uh, let me just peel off these little protective covers right here. Um, now this basically acts as a small dongle that will be at the back of your computer, so the full-size DisplayPort connection right there plugs into your DisplayPort out from your video card. Um, you can also use a uh, full-size DisplayPort to mini DisplayPort adapter if that's the type of connection you have from a laptop, for example. On this side we have a single AC power plug input, so that's where your AC adapter plugs in right there to provide power to the device. And then on the other side, we simply have three full-size DisplayPort uh, outputs. And that is where you would obviously connect the monitors. Here's our test bed just set up to do a quick demonstration of the MST hub. Now I'm using a large 30-inch 2560 by 1600 monitors. So according to the specs, I will be able to support two displays using this hub. If I was using a smaller or a lower resolution 1080 monitors, I could do three. But for now, as you can see, uh, on our AMD Radeon R9 280X graphics card, uh, we have the single full-size DisplayPort header connected right up to the Club, 3D, Club 3D uh, MST hub. Uh, it's powered, of course, with the AC power adapter. Then I have two full-size DisplayPort plugs coming out of that. Those are going over to our two monitors over here. So as you can see, uh, both monitors are up and running just fine at 2560 by 1600. So there's the new egg uh, web page there. And then as you can see in our uh, display information here, we've got those two uh, monitors. These are NEC, NEC PA301W monitors going side by side and outputting at 2560 by 1600 resolution from a single display port connector. And that's all for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Club 3D SenseVision MST Hub. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section, and we'll see you all next time.